Maybe the best part of the football weekend mm -hmm. is tomorrow. Here we go. Judgment Day in college football in the SEC. It's number one Georgia against Alabama. The Dogs have been the best team in the country this year, but they've lost six straight to Saban's team. Let's see. Michigan has never made the playoff. They've not won the Big Ten since 2004. All that can change tomorrow if they can knock off Iowa. History on the line in the AAC. Cincinnati looking to become the first group of five team ever to make the playoff. They take on Houston. That game's 4 Eastern on ABC. And then starting off this wild Saturday, the Big 12 title game, Baylor and Oklahoma State. Cowboys making their first appearance in the Big 12 title game. Both these teams still harboring playoff belief. The All-State Playoff Predictor gives chances to make the playoff to only six teams at the moment. You see them on your screen. Oklahoma State is the first team out, but Notre Dame at this moment as a higher percent chance to make the playoff despite not playing this week. It's, you know, Heather, you made this point really well earlier this week that sometimes we look at Notre Dame not playing in a conference as a huge disadvantage. They don't get a chance to make a last statement. They also don't get the opportunity to lose this weekend, and there are a lot of teams in front of them that could. So let's just start there with that, the Notre Dame of it all. How are they sitting in your opinion? Well, to me, they're still a long shot. I mean, they got a great upgrade today, a good hire with defensive coordinator Marcus Freeman becoming their next head coach. But that aside, they don't have any CFP top 25 wins, and they have the loss to Cincinnati. That matters. So the very first piece of the puzzle for them to help them is Cincinnati has to lose. But they also need more help than that. All of those other teams, not just Notre Dame, could really benefit from Georgia just walloping Alabama and knocking mm -hmm. them out of the conversation. Because if you eliminate two SEC teams, then you can certainly open the door to have an undefeated Cincinnati and an Oklahoma State or a Notre Dame, depending on how it plays out. Well, th that's where we're sort of sitting here, David Pollock, as I bring you in, and you're there in Atlanta for, the, uh, for game day and everything else and the SEC championship tomorrow. Michigan, Cincinnati, and Alabama are the three teams who currently have the other spots. Let let's put Georgia in no matter what happens tomorrow. So wh what exactly does Notre Dame need as far as those teams in front of them? Do they need two of them to lose? Do they need all of them to lose? What does Notre Dame need in order to get in? If, if Georgia takes care of Alabama, so now we got three spots. That's so one, yeah. Cincinnati, obviously, yeah, so Cincinnati, obviously, if they lose, they, they could be out of the conversation. But here's the thing that I go back to, and listen, I know the strength of schedule is the strength of schedule, and we're going to talk about Cincinnati. I, I still saw Cincinnati convincingly whip Notre Dame at Notre Dame. So mm -hmm. I think if, if Oklahoma State loses, if, um, if, if, if um, Alabama loses now, obviously you open up. Um, two spots where Notre Dame could claim one of those spots and, and be in the college football playoff. All right, so our director, Cindy, is going to yell at me because I'm jumping all the different places that we were supposed to. But, Sacho, let me come to you on that <laughs> thought because he mentioned Oklahoma State. And you have been the one on this show talking about the Big 12 basically since the season began. In your mind, if Oklahoma State wins tomorrow and, and, and beats Baylor, which is a top-10 team in the country, in your view, does Oklahoma State jump Cincinnati or someone else and get in regardless of what else happens? Yes, in my view, if Oklahoma State wins the Big 12 title, they are in the college football playoff. Why? They'll have three top 15 wins. They'll have a win against Oklahoma last week. You'll have in Bedlam. You'll have a win against Baylor, who's eight or nine right now. Another win against Baylor earlier in the season. So Oklahoma State will be in. But Pollock made a great point. If Oklahoma State loses, and if Alabama gets kicked out the club, now all of a sudden, Notre Dame can pop in with Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. Notre Dame is not going to pop above Cincinnati. Cincinnati Cincinnati beat Notre Dame convincingly, but all this it's all that Notre Dame needs is Alabama to lose and for Oklahoma State to lose against a good, a really, really good Baylor team. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.